Welcome to Card Player's Daily Deal. Today is Wednesday, April 11th, 2007. I'm Rich Belsky, and filling in for Lizzie Harrison is Christy Arnett. The Bellagio 5 Star Classic continues, and event number three wrapped up yesterday. The No Limit $2,500 buy-in event attracted 251 players, making the prize pool just over $600,000. Jared Hamby, the Waco Kid, took first place after a heads-up battle with card player's own Jeff Shulman. Hamby won $223,780 for his efforts and a $25 seat in the WPT Championship, as well as a beautiful Bellagio gold bracelet. Shulman, who began the table as a short stack, took home $124,000 for his second place finish. Event number four's 3,000 No Limit Hold'em event began yesterday and played down to 14 out of a total 238 players. The final two tables were resumed today at 3 p.m. Among those still left in the tournament are Scotty Wynn and John Fan. To no one's surprise, the current leader in the Card Player Player of the Year race, J.C. Tran, is chip leader with 276,000. The short stack is Howard Bregman with 44,500. First place will be awarded $275,000. The $5,000 buy-in No Limit Hold'em event number five begins today at noon. This summer, Las Vegas will be flooded with poker players, but they won't all be here for the World Series of Poker. The Bellagio Cup 3 will take place during this year's World Series of Poker, just as it has in years past. The schedule was released yesterday, and it will run from June 11th through July 13th. There will be 27 events with buy-ins ranging from $1,500 to $5,000, and it will culminate in a $10,000 buy-in championship event that will begin on July 10th. All events will be no-limit events, and a full schedule can be found on Card Players Tournament listings page. Card Players Player of the Year race is eight months away from crowning a winner, and it looks as though J.C. Tran is unstoppable. As mentioned earlier, he is the chip leader in the $3,000 Bellagio event, but is already ahead of the pack by more than 750 points. He has accumulated a little over $2 million in winnings and has 3,504 points already this year. James Van Alstyne is in second place. He has made four final tables and cashed in seven major tournaments, including a recent four-place finish at the Bay 101 Shooting Star Championship for $250,000. The European Poker Tour's grand final in Monte Carlo shot first-place winner Gavin Griffin and runner-up Mark Karam into third and fourth place, respectively. Both had one other cash before this to add to their Player of the Year points. David the Dragon Fam has the least amount of tournament winnings, but has made the most final tables out of the top 11 players. JC Alvarado comes in 6th with just under 2,000 points. Poker Pro Bill Edler is currently in 7th place after making two World Poker Tour event final tables within a two and a half week time span. Ted Forrest is a mere 11 points behind Bill Edler in 8th place, and there is a three-way tie for 9th place between WPT LA Poker Classic winner Eric Herschler, Borgata Winter Poker Open champ John Hennigan, and Raj Patel, who took down the Foxwoods Poker Classic. Although the Player of the Year leaders are beginning to pull away from the pack, it is still well within striking distance for any player. Thank you for watching Card Player's Daily Deal for your daily dose of poker news. I'm Christy Arnett. And I'm Rich Belsky for Card Player TV.